Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude Group D. Ooh, big games in Group D, which sees Team Africa taking on Toka Nightmare, Darius going up against Nopi, and DBW's original gangsters against Chompstan. Ooh, big game this. I mean, Team Africa are already out, but a defeat for Toka will end it. Will end their tournament early and a big upset. That would be a big surprise. But let's get on with the first matchup. Well, here we go. The first match of this video sees Team Africa taking on Toka Nightmare. Well, such a massive game for Toka. Well, Team Africa are already out. Anyway, as for Team Africa's first dino, we have an Aranasaurus. This beast will be tough to tangle with for Toka because it will have the type advantage over this Lexovasaurus. <laughs> so there you go, Toka already at a disadvantage in this match. Although, what I will say, Toka's third dino, the Omega Eocarcaria, will have the type advantage over two of Team Africa's dinosaurs, so... I have good hopes for you, Toka. I think you'll win this match. But, ideally for Toka, they'll want a bonus point win. Otherwise, it will... Well, it is, it is, it is always going to come down to the other two matches anyway, so... A bonus point win is more ideal, but a win is the bare minimum. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? And yeah, I, I, if Toka gets knocked out, that's a huge surprise for me. That's a huge surprise. I, I thought I thought Toka would do well in this tournament. But, it looks like it's going to be an elimination. I mean, let's take into account, Toka, I think, topped Group A in my last tournament. I think they did. I think they topped the group. I don't know what more I can say. Like, you know, one nil down already. The Oranosaurus hasn't even taken a hit. I may, I, I may as well just declare Team Africa the winner here, because this is just a joke. <laughs> Alright, as for Toka's second dino, we have a Super U Centrosaurus. Okay, Toka finally gets a hit. It's a Thunder Bazooka. Okay, Awaker Mode on three. Just once. Ooh, another hit from Toka. Toka coming back. Oh, never mind. The Aranosaurus gets his customary hit. But it is a waiting in time for you, Centrosaurus. But a bonus point win for Toka looks quite unlikely. Ooh, a tie though. That will definitely suit Toka more as the Aranosaurus bites the dust. Okay, up next for Team Africa, we have an Afrovenator. And this Afrovenator will have to tread carefully because that new Centrosaurus is in its awakened mode. Which means it will do a lot more damage than it normally will. And that could be key for Toka to get it get back in this match. Oh, it's a Thunder Bazooka! Big hit from Toka. The Eucentrosaurus landing the damage. Look at that all of a sudden. Toka in the lead. Ooh, a crit from the Eucentrosaurus. The Euphrovenator lasts in two seconds. But don't count Team Africa out not yet, because their third dino is the Super Majungasaurus. But Toka definitely on top now. And if the Eucentrosaurus, Eucentrosaurus can hang on, it will be a bonus point win for Toka, which they sorely need. I mean, as I said, a win is enough, but a bonus point win is more ideal. Ooh, it's a tie. Ooh, the Eucentrosaurus looking pretty impressive. Ooh, but the Dino Illusion there will help Team Africa. Well, the Eucentrosaurus definitely did well for once, but 
It is Curtin's Fuse Centrosaurus. And there goes the bonus point chance for Toka. But I still think Toka's in a strong position to win this match because up next we have an Omega Armor Eocarcaria. This beast will be at the type advantage against that Majungasaurus. Okay, here we go. Here comes a hit, but that Dino Illusion stopping the Majungasaurus from taking damage. Okay, I think that's twice. Yeah, that's twice. Ooh, well, the Eocarc area getting off hits. And surprise, surprise, no Flare Sword, no Volcano Burst. And that has pretty much plagued Toka this entire bloody tournament. And here comes the Awaken Mode. Oh, but Toka gets the hit. But the Dino Illusion activates again. And oh my goodness, we're getting a Flare Sword. Toka may get knocked out at the group stage, but definitely, definitely made up for it a bit in the end there. Toka gets the win they need, but it wasn't a bonus point win. And how costly could that be? All right then, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Well, there's the table as it stands. Nopey, DBW and Toka level on points. And then we have Darius and Chomps on up top, safely through. Alrighty then, up first for Darius, we have a Laxovasaurus. We saw what it did to Toka in that matchup. It one shot the Eucentrosaurus and pretty much dominated. But I'd like to see him try and one shot this beast for Nopey in the blue corner. We have Tack. After an impressive start to the tournament, Nopi has definitely stuttered a little bit. Can they get back their form with a win? A win that will see them book their place in the last 32, while also eliminating Toga Nightmare at the same time. And also booking, the, booking DBW's place in the last 32. However, if Darius wins, then Nopi's still in... Actually, no, Nopi will be out if Darius wins this match. As it stands, so long as DB if DBW loses though, then well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure something out. But there's this offense boost there that has served Nopi so well in those opening two matches. But here comes the attack boost. It's definitely attack versus defense here. And so far, defense is on top. But the attack is coming back. Wow, even with attack boosts, it's doing little damage. And there's the Crystal Crusher there. And here comes the Crystal Crystal Crusher activating. This will lower the Lexovasaurus' defense. No be in a good position so far. One crit from that Lexovasaurus can change that. However, a crit is not what Lexovasaurus is going to get, and instead, Tank is going to give Nopi a 1 0 lead. Okay, as for Darius' second dino, we have a Streptospondylus. Can Lexovasaurus pull it back for Darius? Or can Nopi continue to hammer their advantage home? Ooh, the left. You strapped the Spondylus, getting a hit. But look at that defense boost and super defense type combo. Very little damage done. Definitely the resilient little tank we saw in the first two matches. 
y cucha. Push. Dino Illusion could be key there for Darius to get back in this game. But, well, I will say that you strapped the spawn list is chipping away at the tank's health. And Cyclone's activating to prevent Nopi from doing damage in ties. But, tank is still hammering home with the crit. But there's the Dino Illusion here stopping the damage. And I think it would have killed you, strapped the spawn list, so... Nopi almost 2-0 up, but not quite yet. Oh, well... <laughs> Darius could have done with that last round. Oh, I think Tank will be 2-0 up now, though. Yep. Nopi completely in control of this match. As we go into Darius' third dino, that dino being the Ampelosaurus. Sigoi! Ooh, a crit from the Ampelosaurus. But even a crit is not enough to take Tank down. One more hit will do it though, but it cannot be a tie because the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Yep, another crit will do it for Brent, for Darius. It is Darius, isn't it? I'm interested. Ooh, no P second dino though. Is Super Duper Chomp. Awaker mode on free, and it will be at a type advantage against that Ampelosaurus. So Nopi still in a strong position to win this match, and they may even get a bonus point. Fix it! Ooh, the Ampelosaurus though is getting off hits. An Aqua Whip coming, but it won't do that much damage. Choo! Curse once. Ooh. This crit, however, is not the water move, so it will do standard damage. One more though, and it's awakening time for Chomp. Oh, that's a tie. There is a tie attack there. Dealing extra damage to Chomp. And all of a sudden, after a strong start from Nopi, Darius has pulled it back. And we're down to Nopi's third dino, that dino being the Isosaurus. Another resilient tank in this team. It will definitely be tough for Darius to take down. But for Toka's sake, he needs to do it. There's the tie. The tie attack will definitely suit Ampelosaurus more. Oh, I think that's it. I think this Aqua Whip will be enough to drop Ampelosaurus's HP below half and guarantee Nopi a losing bonus point as the worst case scenario. But even the worst case scenario is enough for Nopi to get through and eliminate Toka Nightmare. Who's quite frankly had a real nightmare in this tournament. Ooh, or is it enough? Toka out yet? Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. That might be just bang on halfway. Okay, yeah, Toka's definitely out now. <laughs> the, amp the Isosaurus getting off another hit. Defense boost activating and pretty much all but certainly eliminating Toka. And yep, this Aqua Whip will put the nail in the coffin as Nopi, despite a good fight back by Darius, claims all three points. And claims his place in the last 32. And indirectly has also booked DBW's original gangster's places in the last 32. And poor old Toka 
is eliminated from the group stage, and what an upset that was. Because I don't think, I don't think, I, well, I didn't see it coming. Right, I'll update the table, and we'll move on to our final match. Alrighty then, the final match of round, of group D, sees DBW's original gangsters taking on Chompstamp. And because of the previous two results, well, mainly the previous result, DBW is safely through, so does not need to worry about winning this match. But, can they take a bite out of Chompstan's winning streak? Okay, as for Chompstan in the blue corner, we have a Uteraptor. Well, it looks like it's a good matchup for DBW here, because the T-Rex will be at the type advantage against Uteraptor. And that blazing spin attack, it might be a one-shot. You never know. Uh, maybe not, because this T-Rex, I don't think it's a tack type, so I don't think it'll be a one-shot. If it was Burning Dash, then yeah, I'd say 100% one-shot. One nope. Oh, that, my friends, is a tuck. Can Chompstan get five out of five? Or can DBW take a bite out of their winning streak? I already said that, didn't I? I think Chompstan, yeah, the only one so far with a 100% winning record. Other than Ultimate Dino Queen, I think. But so far, we're having ties. Oh, the Uteraptor gets the first hit. But, yeah, look at the type advantage the T-Rex does. Very little damage dealt. And yet, a blazing spin attack from the T-Rex. Well, we're going to find out how much damage it does. Um, I'd probably say the Uteraptor's dead. Yep, the Uteraptor dies to death. <laughs> okay, as for Chompstan's second dino, we have a Cocherodontosaurus. Sorry, I was <laughs> munching a bit of my cake while I was, while I was watching that. Very professional, I am, aren't I? Can Chompstan pull this back, or will DBW extend their lead? The answer to that is I think TBW will be extending their lead. I mean, the, as I said, the shackles are off for him now, so... Oh my god, look at that damage. Busted. Ooh, it's a tie. Chompstan needs to get some, needs to get some momentum back because this T-Rex is looking unstoppable. Oh, the T-Rex! DBW's original gangsters has a 2-0 lead. And Chompstan's unbeaten run so far is in serious peril. Okay, as for Chompstan's third dino, we have a Triceratops. The gold rare version. Not a super Triceratops, not Dino Tector, not... Not Chomp, nothing. Just a stone-cold generic orange Triceratops. The one I actually found hidden in the codes. Whoa, oh, it's a Dino Staffer! To stop Chompstan from pulling it back, the Dino Staffer from DBW there. Keeping the T-Rex alive. And, well, here comes a Firebomb. Is DBW going to win 3-0? Pew! Bing, 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 boom. Oh, here's a tie. Oh my goodness. Um, I think DBW might have just won free now. Wow. Well, I said, I said it wouldn't happen, but it's happened. DBW defeating Chompstan 3-0. And it's the first and only combatant so far to get all five points. Wow. <laughs> wow, that, I mean, that didn't even feel one-sided. Like, the Chompstan got the crit there, but which would have pulled it back. But the Dino Stuffer stopped it. And the Uteraptor got hits off. 
so I didn't feel one-sided, but DBW landing the big damage when it mattered. And because of that, they won 3 nil. Right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, look at that all of, all of a sudden. Chumpstand still winning the group with 13 points. But DBW's original gangsters storming up to second on 12 points. Then we have Nopey and Darius on 10 points. Nopey above Darius because Nopey defeated Darius. And then we have poor old Toka Nightmare eliminated at the group stage. A huge upset. And then Team Africa at the bottom with Zip. Uh, where did it all go wrong for Toka? Um, I'll tell you where it all went wrong for Toka. No plasma anchors. No sand traps. Very few heat, well, no heat eruptions, very few volcano bursts, and about one flare sword. That is what went wrong for Toka. Like, I wouldn't say they got thoroughly trashed. It's, they just had such rotten luck with those moves, and it cost them. You know, if, if they had gotten those moves off, then I'd probably say Toka would be about here. Would have had, had at least one more win, which may... Which may actually not be enough anyway, but if it was against any of the... Well, they defeated Nopi, so yeah, one more win would be enough. So I just say that Toka was just very unlucky. And it was perfectly summed up against Darius when freaking Lex Oversaurus one-shot Eucentrosaurus. Like, that is as bad as it gets. And then you see other combatants like Tor getting off freaking Volcano Burst every... Flare Swords every single time with, a, with bloody Acrocanthosaurus with like 300 technique. Hell, there was probably more chance... A freaking Torvosaur Isosaurus from Torvosaurus getting off Ocean Panic and Aqua Javelin in the same round than they would be for Toka getting off Eat Eruption, Flare Sword, Volcano Burst. So yeah, that is I feel bad for Toka, but that is that is the fin that is the final table for Group D. So we will see Chumpstan, DBW's original gangsters, Nopi and Darius in the last 32. Ooh, quite possible some matchups. We could see Chompstan going up against Slifer Sky Dragon, Ultima Dino King, or Torvosaurus. Or we could see DBW's original gangsters taking on either Star Pumpkin, Dino Nerd, or Ibuki. And then as for Nopi, we could see Nopi taking on Pilk, Lousp, or Tor. And then for Darius, it's either against Mr. Backpack, Shadow Force, or the hosts. That's as it stands so far, so stay tuned for next time where we will conclude Group E. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.